welcome back to my channel guys it's Faith, and i'm back again with another video if you are new to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are not new then welcome back <laughs> So in this video, I saw uh, I saw somebody somewhere saying that they would like to know the things to do before you go to get wax. So I was like, you know, maybe somebody out there on my from my subscriber group might be interested in this topic and maybe want to know. So I said, let me put this info out there. So this information that I'm going to be saying. Alright, so guys, I have to rush to the pool right now. I was filming a whole bunch of content before this video. So I'll definitely complete it when I'm back. Okay guys, so I finally reached back home and it is a few hours later from when I filmed the intro for the video. So, also I wanted to say I haven't posted in quite a bit. I think it has been two weeks since I last posted. I had some family members staying by me and... I don't feel comfortable filming in front of people like how I film it now. I wouldn't just film it and somebody right there watching me. <laughs> so yeah, they left now, so that's why I started back filming. But yeah, let's get into the video. These are my top four things that I would recommend to anybody that's going to wax. So this is for when you already booked your appointment. So these are my top four things to do when you already made your appointment and it's just to go. So the first thing I would say is, and that I was told as well, and I did my research and everything, to not drink coffee before your appointment. Um, I don't know what is the reason. I think they say that the coffee um, may make you get like more pain during the wax. So yeah, don't drink coffee the day before the appointment. <laughs> don't drink coffee the day before the appointment. The second thing is, if you have a wax appointment coming up, don't shave like, I don't know if a month is extreme, but I would say like, a month or let's say like three weeks in advance three weeks before the day don't shave or any hair removal of any sort because the hair needs to be a certain length to wax one and also if you shave and then go to wax it's going to be very painful because the skin was already irritated and then you go to wax more irritation so that wouldn't be good for you so don't do that don't like shave or remove hair with hair removal creams and then go to wax like two three days later that will be mass hysteria don't do that so yeah no coffee number two please don't shave or remove any hair before your appointment if you have shaved i would suggest waiting three weeks to a month before you book your appointment because you need to have enough hair and your skin needs to um heal and stuff from the irritation of shaving or anything like that the third thing i would say is um it's recommended to exfoliate the area before your appointment let's not not a day before like two days before the appointment to exfoliate the area so any like dead cells will be um you know exfoliated and if you exfoliate the hair might be raised up more so it might be easier to like pull so you know you wouldn't have any i guess loose hairs remaining but yeah exfoliate area so you could use a sugar scrub or you could use um an exfoliating like a loofah or a body glove and like body wash i would say and just you know scrub any areas that you're going to wax just exfoliate it like two days before not a day before as it three days two to three days before not a day before because as also exfoliating is you know on the skin so that is already irritating your skin you don't want to over irritate your skin and then um it causes problem when you wax you know so yeah exfoliate like two to three days before wherever it is you're going to wax your underarms or your legs your private parts anyway you know the fourth and final thing that is my tip that i would do 
well sometimes I do it but it's recommended to wear loose clothes so you would wear loose clothing um, to go to the appointment and of course you know loose clothing after the appointment because you'll have on the same clothes anyways but yeah it's recommended to wear loose clothing because you don't want too much friction going on so loose clothing and I personally would say like no underwear when you finish waxing but as a personal choice um I don't do that like when I reach home I would like you know breeze but I would say no underwear because like when you wax to put back on your underwear um the area feels kind of sore sometimes so when you put the underwear on the underwear rubbing on the sore area is not a good feeling in my opinion all these it's not terrible but it's just like you know you know you just know it rubbing now boy so that's not something that i really into but i feel like it's a good idea to like wear clothing where when you're finished waxing you don't have to wear underwear or if you're comfortable like not wearing underwear then yeah just go free let everything breathe and heal and cool off definitely if you are wearing underwear please wear cotton underwear you're supposed to be wearing cotton underwear generally though you know that's it's easier for your private part to breathe and um have air flowing through and breathe out itself with the cotton underwear as opposed to like um silk or like nylon or spandex underwear and nothing too tight please don't wear underwear that is not your size make sure you wear underwear that is your size that is not squeezing the life out of you but this is not a um woman's clothing video but i'm just saying right make sure you wear nice cotton free flowy breezy underwear after you get waxed so it wouldn't be too tight on the area to cause more friction and irritation so those are my top four things to do after you have booked the appointment what i would say off the bat for before you book the appointment like if you are looking into waxing would be to definitely research 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 the location where you want your waxing to be obviously when you're researching like on ig and looking up different business places you would see their location if it's port of spain if you want it in san grande arima south central anyway you choose the most convenient place to you because i mean you are opening up if you're doing like a brazilian you are opening up to somebody so you want to make sure that well for me personally i chose somewhere um in the east not san grande because i'm from san grande but i chose somewhere in tunapuna um i have no reason really for choosing it besides like i don't know i, I don't know i can't remember why i had to choose it but i just saying like don't you're going to be very vulnerable to open up your leg and stuff so make sure you choose somewhere that you could get to easily or often as opposed to like if you could only go if somebody drop in your hand and you can't go again and you have to go by somebody else that's a whole back and out so yeah definitely make sure the location is convenient to you at all times um i would say um choose a place based on your pricing preference if you want like a higher pricing place or something cheaper then definitely look at pricing and you know check out the business's page see their content and the work that they're putting out and stuff um the different services at the place if you're looking to go like to a spa where there's waxing nails toes pedicures for facials then look for a spa with those services don't go to a spa don't go to a Esthetician that only waxes and then you know you want to do more things i would say if you're gonna have a self-care day just do everything one time you know look for a spa that does everything one time so yes those are my four tips to do before you wax and that's just my tip to you guys to do your research to get a place to wax at if you're into that scenario so yeah guys i hope that this video was helpful to anybody that um wanted some tips so yes if you are not subscribed 
please subscribe if you have reached this part of the video then i feel like you want to subscribe if you reach this part of the video you know you know what you who will sing hit subscribe give me a big thumbs up and right next to the subscribe button there's a notification bell that you can click so that you'll be notified every time i post a new video so i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys